Hi everyone, welcome back. And uh, like I mentioned in our last video, uh, we have already configured the web interface uh, for, for our work uh, for uh, master data services. And in this video, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm going to install the Excel plugin so we can use the Excel interface as well. And later on, we'll see how we can uh, use Excel to, to load the data into, into our model, which is way uh, better uh, uh, in terms of bulk load compared to, uh, to the uh, web interface, right? So if you want to do it, uh, the great news, Microsoft has already included uh, that option on the on the front page. You don't need to go anywhere. Just click on, on the install master data services in Excel uh, 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 block. And it will take you directly to the to the website uh, on uh, on which you can download this plugin, right? So I've already downloaded it, but if you hit that download, it's gonna ask you which version you are looking for. If you have the sixty four bit operate, uh, Office, you can download sixty four bit. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, go with with the thirty two bit version, which is x eighty six. I've already downloaded it. So what I'm gonna do? Let me just move to my download section, and let me see if. Uh, I think I have downloaded it. Anyway, I'll just go and download it. That's good. I can uh, record it in the, the video. So let me hit download. Yeah, it's there. And if I now come in to my downloads, uh, you can see the Excel plugin, Master Data Services plugin for Excel is downloaded. Let me just install it. So yeah, I'm going to go to the wizard, uh, accept, and by the way, you need to be in, uh, you need to install the Excel on your machine. I've already done it, so you can see the Excel is already uh, sitting on on my operating system. So make sure you have the Excel version and whatever version you are going to uh, install, uh, make sure you uh, download the the plugin version accordingly. Right, so that's very simple install okay so the prerequisites are not installed so let me see if i can get the vr studio 2010 tools for uh runtime uh office runtime uh i need to install it let me quickly download and i will get back to you oops all right guys so what i did i let me quickly hide this i don't know so I searched the VL Studio 2010 tools for Office uh, uh, and I have uh, downloaded it from Microsoft website. I'm gonna put that link in the, in the description of this video as well. So you guys can easily uh, follow it up. So that, that's the website where you can download it. And once you download, you're gonna see, let me close the, uh, the installation wizard because we need to install this prereq first, so let me just go and hit install. Hopefully it won't take much time. Yeah, I read the agreement anyway. It's difficult to read the whole agreement, but no, I, I want to send that information, yeah. So the installation won't take much time. Considering I've allocated good memory and CPU on, on this virtual machine. Yeah, it's all done. So let's see. I I believe now we're not gonna face any issue. Let me hit same step. We're gonna accept the agreement. Yeah, we are good to install and our Excel plugin is done. Excellent. So you can see now the Excel plugin is done. Let me just open the MS Excel. I mean, guess what? I'm gonna see that if I am, um, let me create a new, new Excel file and voila, we have the master data tab available already on our Excel. And that that's something really powerful plugin that we can use to interact with the master data service, especially if people don't have the technical background or you're gonna give uh, the 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 business aspect uh, uh, access to towards the business uh, users, right? So master data services has two two and one is obviously technical, the other one is the 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 business. So Excel is a great interface to to interact with the master data services uh, using Excel uh, plugin. So you can see. Let's go and connect to to the uh, to the uh, 
uh, uh, to our uh, master data. Uh, in order to do it, what we're gonna do, we need that URL actually, we don't need to go to the model level. Let me just hit manage connection because yeah, let me hit to create a new connection. And what I'm going to call it is going to be development. Generally keep the development and production separate because it's, it's always a good practice because you don't want to mess the data between production and development environment, right? So working with, uh, with the master data services in Excel environment, uh, although it's really powerful, but obviously it brings more responsibility that sometime uh, due to multiple environment, people mess the data uh, between environment if they want uh, to give a good care uh, in, in segregating the between the environments, right? So let me consider I only have one environment at the moment. So that, that's good. I'm able to, to connect. My user have full access. Let me quickly do the test. And by the way, there the whole uh, uh, security information is is uh, uh, integrated with the Active Directory. So if my machine is connected to my domain network, uh, I can control the permission using the Active Directory group and users, right? So the security is going to be managed through the central Active Directory. And based on that, we can control the permission who's supposed to have rights or who's supposed uh, not to see our uh, master data services, models and entities, right? So that, that's a completely separate aspect, but very powerful uh, and very secure way to 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 manage the access for for the business users right so click okay we are good i will just let it close automatically no so then we just close by ourselves so let's see if we can so you can see we only have one model and we are able to select and guess what we are able to see our entity right so let me just double click on that you can see the only world version is coming because we only have one version and we can see we have our data in, 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 in here that we can uh, work with or we can create even new entities. We can add more data to the existing entity. We can update it, right? Everything is possible using using the Excel interface, right? So, and, and you can see we have the code and the country name, which is, uh, if you remember that that's uh, showing the default attributes. And then we have these two attributes, which are addition to, to, to the default attributes that we have created once we were creating that, that uh, entity uh, in the previous video. So uh, I think that there's a very uh, a, a quick, good introduction to the Excel plugin and how you can install install it using using the uh, master data services interface. Uh, by the way, I'm going to put the link uh, uh, in the in the description from from the Microsoft uh, website uh, uh, as well. So if you are unable to see the, the link on on your front end or you don't have Excel, at least you can go and you can directly download from from the Microsoft. Uh, Feel free to reach out if you have any question as well. I believe you like the video. Uh, I'm gonna actually record the, the, the next step, how you can further utilize master data services in, in your day-to-day -day work in the data governance and security space. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.